Hi, I'm Mike from Care Medical, and today we'd like to discuss how to position a patient in lithotomy stirrups. So we have our Kira Comfort 350s, and we have our patient and our assistant. So this is going to be a two-person job because we want to be able to move the legs into the stirrups and do it as a mirror image. And the reason we do that is because we don't want to move one leg and load up all that pressure on the hips because you could have a hip dislocation. So very important, two people moving the legs at the same time as a mirror image. So something to practice and I'll try and share some tips as the video goes along. So we have the patient at the table. We want to be scooched all the way to the lithotomy end of the table. That's typically the end of the table with the cutout. And so we've got the hip lined up. So what I want to do is I'm going to put the clamp on and we have our secure release clamp. I line that up where the stirrup's going to be and I want to know where that hip joint is because when I put the stirrup in, I want the ball joint to be exactly where the patient's hip joint is. So once I'm comfortable with that, and I can you know, move this up and down as I need to on the rail, I'm going to tighten that uh, down. If this piece sticks out beyond the rail, that's not a problem. You just want to make sure that the clamp is secured to the rail and that the stirrup blade is into the blade clamp. I'm going to bring this down to level. So at this point, the patient would be on a leg transfer board or on a table extension. So we're going to have her here. I'm going to open up the stirrup. It hasn't been done before. And because our stirrups are moving medial to lateral, I'm just going to take that middle strap and I can connect that. Put the, the top pad underneath the stirrup boot so that we have room to manipulate the patient's leg without the top pad being in the way. So once we get to here and before we put the patient's leg in the system, what we want to do is we want to assess where the back of the patient's leg is and match that up to the back of the stirrup. Not the fin part, but where the calf sits. So I want to get that alignment done. And then at the very end, I want to turn the boot across so that I'm imagining a line that would go from toe to knee to the opposite shoulder. T-K-O. Once I have that, I'm going to tighten this down and I'll securely tighten that to the, the spar. And at this point, the only thing that should be moving is the free float of the boot, and that's a safety feature that I've discussed in another video. So once I have this all set up, now what we're gonna do is again, the patient's legs are on the transfer board. We're gonna do this in symmetry. We're gonna pick up the patient's legs. We're gonna move them in. We're gonna push that ankle, make sure that that's fully seated into the boot. The reason that's at, that is important is because I have this aligned to the hip, I have her ankle pushed into the stirrup boot. Um, I have the stirrup to create a 30 degree angle here. If you do those three things, align the hip, make sure the ankle is uh, in there, and make sure there's a 30 degree angle for length, the, the leg cannot come out of the stirrup boot. So once we have all those three things, we're gonna take the top flap, turn that over using the secure lock straps, no Velcros, and we just use all three, and you can hear the audible noise it makes. You don't need to over-tighten these, and we're good to go. So now I'm going to come around. We're locked in on both sides, and then I just turn in high lithotomy, low lithotomy, whatever position you need for Euro-gyne procedures.